This is not a political rally. This is not a political concert. This is not a political meeting. Greetings, Jamaica. I greet you with the spirits of Paul Bogle. I greet you with the spirit of Nanny of the Maroons. I greet you with the spirit of Sam Sharp, and I greet you with the spirit of the Right Honorable Marcus Mosiah Carvey. Jamaica, we're embarking on a very special and unique pathway to help rid this beautiful country of the crime and violence that has been plaguing our land for 40 going on 50 years. Jamaica, we know that we are the strength of Africa. Jamaica, we know that the Honorable Marcus Garvey, Paul Bogle, Sam Sharp, Nanny of the Maroons, Kodja, Kofi, all these great freedom fighters are from the Ashanti tribe of Africa, Ghana, Africa. So we know we are blessed because we are prophets and prophetess. Now Jamaica, we are on a pathway to help our fellow citizens of this beautiful country to see how best we can solve our differences, discuss our problem, and weigh down our anger because we are very angry. Jamaica is one angry country. But what are we angry about? Yes, we are angry about the high crime and violence. Yes, we are hungry about how we are treated when we go for jobs, if we come from or live in a particular area, mostly the garrison community. Yes, we are angry because our next door neighbors have and we don't have. We are hungry because of a lot of things, Jamaica. But Jamaica, when we look at it, we are saying that the Almighty God created all of us equal. The Honorable Marcus God be taught us how to use the power of the mind. And a lot of us don't even understand what the Honorable Marcus Garvey was trying to say when he says, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourself can free our minds. It means your mind is that inner you, that inner you that the Almighty gave you so you can create. You can make things happen by just thinking about it. Whatever you want, you can achieve it by just thinking about it. Now, our oppressors know that the power of thought and the power of mind is so powerful that they put things in your pathway to block you from thinking. These are some of the things that they put in your pathway. Rent, light bill, water rate bill, food bill, bill to send your children to schools, food bill, all these kinds of bills keep coming at you left, right, and center. As soon as you finish paying one bill, here comes another. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something about the power of your mind. We know that these bills that you have, they come every month. So it's not a surprise to you. So what I'm asking you to do from today, do not think about your bills. Think about your solutions. Think about money. Think about bringing that money in to pay for those bills. If you constantly train your mind and money or great thoughts, great ideas, guess what? These great thoughts and these great ideas will come right into being from out of nowhere. Trust me. When the Honorable Marcus Garvey talk about self-reliance, you know what he meant? He meant that you do not have to depend on anyone. Let me, let me say that again. When the Honorable Marcus Garvey talked about self-reliance, he meant you do not have to depend on anyone for anything. If you think it and see it, you will receive it. Now this One Nation Together Peace Tour will take me across the 14 parishes of this beautiful country. We are stopping on November 17th at the St. George's Sports Complex 
in Buff Bay, Portland. A lot of people will know it as Lynch Park, Buff Bay. So I'm appealing to all of you to come out to a beautiful evening of love, peace, and unity. We have confirmed to speak on that platform at Lynch Park, the Honorable Member of Parliament, Mr. Darrell Vaz, who's also known as Mr. Portland. And ladies and gentlemen, we also have confirmed to speak the Honorable Member of Parliament, Dr. Lynn Bloomfield. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, this is not a political rally. This is not a political concert. This is not a political meeting. This is a congregation of concerned Jamaicans, concerned citizens of this beautiful country, who wants the best for our country. And I think personally, and the ancestors have sourced me to put them together. All these people that are players and shakers have to come together and recognize that we do have a major problem on our hands. It has gone from bad to worse to extreme to extremely dangerous to volcanic. Volcanic means it is about to explode and a lot of people are going to die. So Jamaica, when I come into your community, a lot of people ask me the question, Big Stone, where are you going? You don't have money to deal with these situations. You're broke. But I tell them that I am broke with physical cash. But I'm extremely wealthy with the ability and the knowledge how to use my mind and to think things into being. Ladies and gentlemen, thus far we're going great with the planning of the event. We have confirmed also uh, drummers from the Nib School in Portland. We also have confirmed Ezra to perform. We also have confirmed Junior X, Raw Deal, Carl Morrison, Spring Water, Road G's, Real Steel, Essence. We have all these artists, Darwin, St. Arbin, the Psalmist. They're all scheduled to perform and to give you a beautiful evening of quality entertainment. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm appealing to everyone of you to come out. Come out, whether you JLP or PNP, come out as a citizen of this country because you're concerned, you're tired, you're fed up, and you just want to make a statement that you just cannot take this anymore. Huh? December 17th depends on you. Your life depends on you. This is a rally for life. This is a rally for your own existence because you're being wiped out by your own people. As my friend King Kwaku from the Netherlands, Ghana says, Jamaica, every single one of you are prophets and prophetess. Do you know what a prophet or a prophetess means? It means you have divine spirituality. But you have lost that. You have lost most of it during slavery. And for, for the life of me, I don't know what happened to the rest of your spirituality. So ladies and gentlemen, come out in your thousands. Come out and be a part of a change. Come out and be a part of a new Jamaica. Come out and be a part of a rally for life. I am Big Stone, but my name is Kwaku. Because I believe strongly that I'm from Ghana, Africa. And I believe strongly because an Ashanti, Ashanti people, they just don't know how to keep quiet. Ashanti people do not know how to keep quiet. And that's why I know most of us here in Jamaica are Ashantis. So let's pull together, let's unite. As my brother say again, Kwaku from the Netherlands, as my brother says, if Jamaica is united, then Africa is united. If Jamaica is not united, then Africa will be made, then Africa will remain scattered. So Jamaica, 
the future of Africa depends on you. Now that is a big, 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 big burden to bear. Because the, the continent of Africa is huge. There are millions of Africans all over the place. Not just in Africa, but all over the world. So Jamaica, I want you to come out, show your support. If you notice I'm wearing red, black, and green, which is the color of the flag that the Honorable Marcus Garvey had wanted to raise in Jamaica. Red is for the blood of our African people that was shed. Black is for the people of Africa, those at home or abroad. And green is the passes in the land that Africa contains for all of us to come and enjoy. So Jamaica, please, I'm asking you, I'm pleading to you, I am begging you, come out and support a rally for life. A luta continua. And that means the struggles continues. One love, one God, one aim.